Text isn't the only thing that can get a style applied to it. You can also create object styles. So same place we found the other two panels, window menu, styles, object styles. There's a whole panel for object styles. I'm going to dock it in my list of panels. So I'm going to click to open my panel. Let's take a look at this caption. It's in a text frame. If I select the text frame with my selection tool, I can apply an object style to it. By default, it is styled with none. Uh, if I click on the other two, this basic graphics frame, basic text frame, those have come in with my document. Um, I want to create a new one based on the style that's already there. I can see that I've lost some formatting, so I'm just going to undo to step backwards. If I go to my panel menu, new object style, I'm going to call this caption frame. Let's take a look at some of the options. So pretty much every attribute I can attach to an object, I can build into a style. If there's a fill or a stroke, so this fill is none, stroke is none, um, I can even map a paragraph style to it. You can see that there's a paragraph style called caption. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go to the second spread. And let's take a look at this frame where the sidebar is. It has a tint behind it. If I toggle to normal mode and I select it, I can even see that it's got a text wrap around it. So I'm going to go to my object st styles panel. I'm going to create a new object style and I'm going to call it sidebar frame. If I click on the fill attributes, I can see here's my fill. Uh, if I drag down to text wrap and other, I can see here is my text wrap. So I can define an object style that will allow me to use the same specifications over and over every time I create this object. So if I click OK and I draw myself a new frame with my rectangle frame tool, let's just say I'll do a frame up here for a second sidebar I want to put on this page. If I apply the object style sidebar frame, I get my fill and my text trap all in one. So if I switch now to my type tool and I click to convert this to a text frame, select the text, copy it, paste it, and I'm ready to move on. I can edit an object style. So I've applied this object style to these two sidebars. If I double click sidebar frame and I go to my fill and I change that to a different color, let's say uh, one of the blues that we had, and I click my preview and I click OK, I can see that it changed. Now what I didn't do to my first one is actually apply the style. Again, I need to create and apply it. That's why the color didn't change. So if I just reapply it, now I'm good to go. Uh, that color is a little dark, so I would probably want to create a new swatch and update it and replace it. But again, now I can do it globally. I can do it throughout the document. Once the styles are applied, I'm going to save myself a ton of time.